with the latest and greatest from the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, our tech expert, Winston C. Thank you, Brian. Very nice. Anything you see at this show is usually so far beyond anything we would think we would be having at this day and age. So what did you see that you loved? It's the Consumer Electronics Show and it really sets the tone for the year. So you see what trends come out of here and what you're going to see on store shelves. And one of the biggest trends this year is voice activated everything. Right, as we just saw, right? That's right. So you want to be able to do things that are hands free. Uh, what sorts of things did you see that were voice assisted. Well, uh, you're seeing things like Alexa. Do you know Am about Amazon Alexa? Yes. Well, so it's a voice activator that you can have in, in a, a smaller device, but now it's coming to your fridge. It's not co only coming to your fridge, but it's coming to everything like your showers as well. So you can say, uh, Alexa set my shower, and mm. it'll know that it's Tracy's voice speaking. It'll yes. know what temperature you want it at. It'll tell you when it's heated to that right temperature. And it. if you're in a rush in the morning, it can tell you after 30 minutes, that's a really long shower. Yeah. Uh, maybe after maybe after five minutes, right. when your time is up, and it can slowly turn the water off for you and tell you oh. your time is up. You got to get going to work. I love that. We need a voice-activated stove. Make me yes. a roast. Well, that is coming as well. Like I want that. Just put out the meat and they make it for you while you're at work. That's incredible. We will get there, people. We will. And it's also coming to things like thermostats. We've seen it uh, slowly being integrated with things like the Nest, but uh, it's yes. coming to, with Cortana, which is Microsoft's version of the voice automator. And, and they're starting to look really funky as well, where you can set temperatures according to what you the, the temperature you want at home. So yeah. if you want a certain temperature while you're sleeping, it can set sleep mode. Or when you're cooking and you want it a little cooler because your mm. stove is going to be going you can have different modes for that for different people so it really is using the power of your voice to power everything in your home not just your smartphone or your laptop talk about being connected that is incredible okay what about smart speakers or did we just discuss that we're, we're speaking about smart speakers as well because we're seeing a really interesting war come up between yes. Google and Amazon so these are the two kind of incumbents in the market right now yeah. uh, where the, there's the Amazon Echo Dot on the left and Google Home on the right and these both both will do the same thing but it's using different ecosystems and you really have to almost choose which one you want because they're both good in their own way. Okay, how do they differ, do you know? So Google has the power of Google behind it, so you're able yeah. to ask it in a more natural voice, but Alexa has been around for so long, it's connected to a ton of devices. Google is is growing that, that ecosystem a lot this year, mm. um, but it really is a matter of deciding which one you like more and which yeah. one's easier to use. And once you choose one, you more or less have to commit to it because you're going to have these all over your home. It's it's like a smartphone, right? It you is. you want to choose if you're going to be Android, if you're going to be iPhone, if you're going to be anywhere in between. So it is. It's a choice you make, and then once you've made that brand choice, usually you stick with it you for with it. a lifetime. And it connects to so many really neat connected devices, uh -huh. and the stuff that we're seeing come out of CES is phenomenal, unreal. You see the stuff like connected TVs, which is a huge deal. Voice assistants coming to things like this Panasonic TV, which is phenomenal. You can see the design is great. Uh, LG yeah. came out with their Chris. own where it'll roll up as well. The TV will roll up? The TV will roll up and roll down, so it's being integrated within your home so that yeah. you can conceal it when you're not using it, and you can bring it out when you need it. Uh, uh, every designer is going to go right. crazy over that. Brian Gluckstein would love that. Yes, a lot of um, interior designers do not want that TV in your space, yeah. but we all want to watch it. Yeah. So now you can just roll it up, exactly. and when company comes over, we don't even know, we didn't even know it was there. Yeah. And it's being integrated connected technology in ways that you wouldn't even expect it before. This is something, it's called the Folding Mate, and it retails at about a thousand uh, American right now okay. uh, and what's really neat about it is it's family friendly it's almost like a vending machine for your clothing so you okay. put in things like your towels your t-shirts your jeans and it'll fold it for you drop it down and it'll spit it out all folded so as a mom this could be like a magician in your home there's a part of me that's that thinks this is incredible because I really hate the folding part of laundry and there's a part of me that thinks how lazy are we really going to get people right really a machine to do that I mean on the one hand when if you looked at my guest room right now and saw the mountain of laundry you would say Tracy you need one of those always laundry to be done There's and if you can save time. There's always laundry to be done. It's true. Yeah. I can see it, especially as the price starts coming down, right? Yeah. And it becomes a little bit more accessible. Um, what else do you have? Who's a wine lover? Me, I don't know. Just a little, a little bit. bit. Just a little bit, right? Sometimes. 
So this is something that's coming out of France. It's called Cavizi. And okay. what it is, is it's a machine, it's a cellar. It, it sits in, you know, your wine cellar, it could be in your kitchen, uh, it could be in your pantry, and you take a picture of a bottle of wine, that mm -hmm. your favorite bottle of wine, mm -hmm. and it'll store it within the database, you'll put it on the shelf, it'll know that it's there, mm -hmm. and it will not only tell you when the best time is to crack that baby open, mm -hmm. it'll also tell you, if you tell it what you're having, what meals you're having, it'll look through your catalog of wines, <laughs> and it'll tell you which bottle of wine to pair with the food that you're making that evening. Whoa, so this is for this is for folks who have a collection. This is for Because they're probably core. not looking at the half bottle of wine I have left in my fridge. That's like right. they want to know there's so quickly. options there to pick yeah. from. But that is beautiful People for a like connoisseur. Yes, and you, if, if you right. like to age your wine. No, That's not definitely me. Definitely not either. me. <laughs> Yeah. Yes. And okay. What else you got? We're also seeing things that are kind of forecasting the future. So okay. things like virtual reality, augmented reality. Do you know about that? Mm, a little bit. So for virtual reality, there are things, this is yeah. kind of a peek into the future right now, where you wear these crazy headsets and you're able to play games, you're able to see new things, but they're starting to look a little more approachable instead of looking like you're a cyborg. Yeah. This is a company called uh, Physics, and they're having, um, it's called a blade, and you put it on your head and they almost look like really cool glasses, yeah. uh, and you wear them, and it'll display information like things like your calendar, things like, uh, it's got a camera camera inside, it's got a microphone, it's also got Alexa built into it. Hmm. So it's making it more useful versus just for the hardcore gamers out there. More and more sleek, it's freaking me out a little bit, yeah. but kind of exciting as well.